Hey, what's up? My name is David and welcome to my top five tips for 2020. Coming in at number one is play the game how you want to play. Now, a lot of people play this game and they kind of make it a chore eventually because they want to do gathering. They want to do cooking. They want to do PVP, PVE, and they, you know, they want to get gains. They want to get gear. And that's, you know, part of the game. That's how you're supposed to have that mindset you want to get gains but a lot of times as a new player you go on youtube and you follow these guys and those guys tell you to play a certain way and then you eventually get either a burnt out b bored or you follow it to a t and it just it's not fun because it's not the way you want to play really now i know i am shooting myself in the foot when i say to play how you want and not follow what other people say it it is good to follow certain guides and it is good to follow it to a degree like follow it as much as you want to and then put your own twist on it and this way you're going to have fun doing what you're trying to do but also you're going to get the benefit of you know doing it correctly because there's always a, a good way to do something like for example if you're taking cooking like you're not going to be cooking with 10 seconds cook time right you're going to want to go on youtube you're going to want to find a guide on how to lower your cook time and that's ex essentially what you want to do you know that's a guide you can follow that but you don't necessarily have to say like okay i'm gonna cook this this is what this guy's cooking i'm gonna go and follow and cook this you can take his how to to achieve a lower cook time but then cook your own thing if you want to cook beer go ahead and spam beer if you want to do a million grilled chicken go ahead and do a million grilled chicken just because a video says okay go make balanos meals or go gather lamb meat or something doesn't mean you have to do it play the game how you want to play it coming in at number two is take breaks i know quite a few players that have gone all out on this game and some of my friends have quit the game because they're just doing way too many things and they just don't have any time for anything else and they burn out eventually so when i say take breaks it doesn't even necessarily mean to take a break from the game it could mean if you are grinding 10 hours a day take a break and go do life skills or something or go do node war i don't know but do something different and break up the monotony of doing the same thing over and over and over again because in a game like black desert online that's really grindy because it's a korean game things tend to get very repetitive very very fast so you know taking a break Break, breaking it up is something that you should do and it will just help you out and make sure that you don't burn out from the game coming in at number three is to plan ahead now what I mean by planning ahead is that if you want to get a let's say uh, I'll take cooking for example if you want to become a guru cook okay and you're crafting things let's say you're a professional or let's say you're an artisan you're crafting to master what I would say by planning ahead is to plan how you're going to cook to get to guru if you want to get to guru start planning how many meals you're going to need to craft uh how many materials you're going to need how many logs utensils all that extra jazz comes into play and you can eventually save time when you are going for that high level or whatever you're trying to go for if you're trying to enhance something you know save those sharps save those hard save those fail stacks and then this way you are planning ahead and then when you get to the point where you know you say yeah i'm ready to do this enhancing or i'm ready to push for guru or whatever and you'll have pretty much everything lined up so that you're not going to be stopped and bottleneck i've seen where some players they say oh yeah i want to go for guru cooking for example and then you know it takes them a long time because they don't have any material saved up they don't know what they want to do or how they want to get to guru and you know that's that becomes an issue and then in the amount of time that you could have hit guru and you could be doing something else you know you're still grinding guru because you weren't prepared and being prepared in this game is really really solid and that's why i say that it's a really good tip to be prepared like i spreadsheet a lot but that you don't have to spreadsheet there's nothing wrong with not spreadsheeting some people even do really really basic spreadsheeting coming in at number four this one may be a little controversial but i say spend a little money now i'm not saying be a whale and spend like a thousand dollars a month or two thousand dollars a month or whatever if you have the money go right ahead when i say spend a little money is to maybe you know buy a couple pets maybe buy a processing outfit or maybe get lodging or worker storage like whatever you do whatever you spend your money on like a value pack or whatever 
it gives you a little bit of an edge in this game and it makes the game a little bit more fun if you're playing this game for let's say a role-playing simulator and you don't have any costumes or anything you know that takes away from the experience now i know that's not the greatest example but i'm just saying if you're somebody that wants or if you're somebody that prefers having cosmetics and or paying a little bit of money to enhance their gameplay then why not you know like yeah people are gonna say oh you know you don't need to spend money on this game and you know this is pay to win and blah 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 but honestly again it's your money at the end of the day and you could do whatever the heck you want with it if you want to go ahead and max out your lodging or buy horse coupons or reroll coupons or whatever then go for it honestly like i spend money on this game and i would say a large percentage of players in this game spend money in this game and it, it you know it's not like we spend like hundreds of dollars sometimes we only spend like 15 dollars and to me, $15 for a value pack is really good. It gives me what I need for that month and that's it. I don't really spend money on like a lot of other stuff and a lot of items in the pearl shop are a one-time purchase. Like if I'm buying lodging and storage, like that's a one-time purchase because it's permanent. It's always going to be there. A value pack is, you know, it is $15 a month, but it gives me benefits and it gives me perks and you know, I'm willing to shell that out to enhance my gameplay and make it, make the experience just a little bit better. So so yeah, coming in at number four is just spend a little bit of money. Coming in at number five, and this is probably my most important one, it's sell what you don't need. Now this one you may not agree with, but hear me out before you say I'm wrong. So when I say sell what you don't need is that I've seen a lot of players hoard stuff and they don't need it. They'll never ever use those materials. They'll never use that item or whatever, and they could be making money off of it. Now, when I say to sell your items or what you don't need, let's say you are grinding out silver and you get sharps, hards, you get weapon stones, whatever, and you're wanting to buy your gear. You don't want to enhance your gear. Why are you keeping your sharps and hards if you don't need it? And that money that you make off the sharps and hards could get you closer to the goal of of you buying your gear that's one of the more solid examples that i have but it applies also to life skilling like for me if i'm not using a hundred thousand milk and it's just sitting there and i know in the future that i'm not gonna need that milk because i'm not crafting meals anytime soon you know what i will probably sell it to the market and make some money to buy things that i want being financially free in this game is very uplifting and i promise you if you have a lot of silver just lying in your storage and you are able to buy what you want when you want i can guarantee you it'll feel better than just having stuff in your inventory or your storage that you cannot liquidate because there's just hundreds upon thousands of them on the market like if you've ever looked at the storages and the non-liquidated silver like the marketplace value asset of a lot of my items in storage but you may be surprised that a lot of that material a lot of that silver is actually non-usable like i can't use it because there is just way too many of those materials on the market so i'll never be able to sell it and it's just sitting there and i'm never going to use it so at the end of the day you know i would rather just npc it and make a little bit of money in return than never actually sell it because there's just a million of it on the market and that's why i'm saying if you don't need the material and you need the money why not just sell it and you know you'll always get it back in the future because the game is always producing you items and you know if you don't need extra gear and you have a couple tet pieces of gear lying around and you don't think you're gonna go for pen but you know you could hey you could use a couple billion silver why not sell it use that silver maybe get some upgrades or maybe just try your luck again and try to enhance again but it's pretty much that kind of circle where if you don't need something don't be a hoarder pretty much <laughs> like hoarding is good to an extent like in this game if you can hoard then you can make money but you have to be prepared like this goes back to my number three rule and that is to be prepared right if you know in the future like let's say for example you're hoarding uh accessories like obviously at that point don't sell the accessories if you have like tens upon tens of accessories then and you're planning to sell them in the future when the price goes up okay then at that point don't sell them because you're preparing yourself for an increase in the i don't know accessories that you're selling or whatever right so that's being smart but you know my number five tip only really 
really applies to base materials and things that are just kind of just sitting there and collecting dust that you don't have a plan for. Anyways, that's it for my top five tips of 2020. I tried diversing it a little bit compared to my other video that I made in 2019. If any of these tips helped you or if you have any tips left over for other newcomers, then let me know in the comment section down below. Subscribe to the channel, leave a like, and I will see you in the next one. Stop this gravity. It keeps breathing.